The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. We are in the middle of a Wheel of Fortune live stream, and I have to get a few things off my chest about Star Trek. Hopefully the game music isn't too overpowering. This whole Star Trek Picard season that we've been that we've been discussing, they've had this one recurring theme of of humans live in the past. They let their past weigh them down. They're they're haunted by their past traumas. They're 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 obsessed with and need to deal with all of the past stuff. And one of the one of the big themes that we see in the marketing accounts on on social media and a lot of the kind of you know the followers, a lot of the mind Endless followers who really just recite back whatever they see without really even thinking or putting any any actual effort or thought into it. These people tend to these people tend to recite this. Oh, you guys are just living in the past. You're so focused on the past. You're living in the past, man. You're stuck in the past, man. You just want Star Trek. It's not the past anymore. It needed to change. We needed to change it. It needed to it needed to be better. Stop living in the past. Okay, so they keep reciting this, and that makes me wonder, why are they going back to the past with Strange New Worlds? Stop living in the past, Star Trek. You keep going to the past with Discovery, just 10 years before Kirk was on the Enterprise. You're going to the past yet again with Strange New Worlds. You're going to the past bringing up Picard and Seven of Nine. You're going to the past dragging out Janeway from Voyager. You're going to the past grabbing all of the, the original TNG cast members, for most of them, for cameos in season three. They keep going to the past. What is this obsession with them living in the past constantly? If they want us all to forget it, if they want us all to leave it in the past, you know what? If they want us to leave it in the past, they can leave these characters in the past. I don't need to see Spock, Uhura. I don't need to see Captain Crapping Pike. I don't need to see a recast Bones. I don't need to see some chick who's related to Khan because remember Khan? <laughs> see actual new Star Trek to follow new stories and new tales but they can't give me that so this is why I keep saying you know what the past Star Trek was so much better and then what do they do they go right to the past and they dig up an old character just to be just to be what yeah I remember that just to be a reference to the past Rob you've gotten into arguments with this you want to come and elaborate that's all they seem to do. They just go to the past every single time. They drag up this old past article from, oh, let me see, let me see. Let me see, I, I retweeted it a couple of days ago. Talk while I find the article about them going to the past constantly with Star Trek. Yeah, this, this the whole this, the, the whole thing about, like you said, oh, you guys are stuck in the past. You guys, are, it doesn't seem like we're the ones stuck in the past. It seems like Star Trek is stuck in the past because they keep having to bait you in nostalgia just to just just to draw you in. Oh, I remember. And then they go back to the same, same, same tired old article here. Where is it? New Star Trek crew files. A, th this is basically trying to say that yeah, I, I remember that, that they article. um that was in the National Enquirer. Yeah, that, that was in the National Enquirer. This is supposed to allege that everybody was so triggered by Star Trek before it aired, just as a way for their marketing accounts to what con the investors into thinking that yeah. we're just what we're just upset. It'll be upset again. No, no, they keep giving us non Star Trek over and over and over again, telling us stop living in the past yet they keep bringing in these past articles from the past they keep bringing in these characters from the past they don't have an original bone in their body they don't have an original thought in their head if it's if if <sighs> the show is good it will win the fans over Mm -hmm. But these haven't been good. Every single show is worse than the previous. You know, we already have a very low bar because we know that Discovery uh, can't actually, you know, do anything other than reference things. Our, our good friend Nitpicking Nerd said this is the dumbest thing he's ever seen, Picard, and I think he's right. <laughs> Angry Joe gave it a one. <laughs> he doesn't give anything a one. I, I, this is this is some of the worst television I've ever seen, and I've seen some pretty bad television. This, I'd rather watch Cop Rock than Picard. Oh my God, Picard, let's, not, now let's not say anything we can't take back. Okay? No, Picard can't even get a procedural crime drama right. You know, they can't even chase a guy down an alley that's supposed to be getting getting offed by Agnes the Borg Queen. Correct, they can't even ask a question like, which way did he go? <laughs> 
Were they together when they left? They can't even is ask a question. Is this guy a regular? Yeah, is this guy a regular? What's his name? Where does he live? Which way was he going? Any was he idea, with her? Any idea where he works? Is, you know, do you no. Know? Yeah, he's... <laughs> yeah, you could just cut in what they actually say. Which way? Oh, thanks, thanks. We'll go this way. And they just happen to stumble upon him. Like, what? Yeah. Two steps later? Yeah. And then she's eating. She's eating b car batteries in the next, in, right in the next lot. She's eating cars. You, you're telling me in the in the what the 14 hours that they they were in the bar and they disappeared, she went a block and a half. She went a block and a half. <laughs> well, she killed a guy and ripped in, a whole in, in broad Los, daylight in Los Angeles. In broad daylight, mm, just to steal car. Oh, and and they wonder and they wonder why we tell them that it was better in the past. And then they have to go with this insulting, oh, let the past die, kill it if you have to, Re. Yeah, you're just living in the past. They're the ones living in the past by keeping, uh, keeping uh, like, bringing up the stupid old article. All right, I am going back to my live chat. <laughs> We're doing this type of stuff so that we don't have to deal with crapping bad Star Trek. I'm going back to Wheel of Fortune. Don't you guys go anywhere. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. Can I ask about your window? You're living in the past, man.